you attract not what you want, you attract what you are. Every one of us has to do their homework. If you don't do your homework, you're not going to graduate. Life is about acquiring one qualification after another. You just level up every day, every year. So to level up, you need to trust. To trust, you need to let go. Because if you cannot let go, you can manifest as much as you want. It won't be there for you. It's only going to be there for you if it is the right time. If you walk towards God, light, positivity and gratitude, he will run towards you. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ian. I'm a certified life coach and I'm speaking about feminine energy, intuition, and how you can become confident. Today's topic is going to be how to let go. And most probably you are on this video because you recently seen yourself in a situation where you just wanted to control a particular situation and you have sabotaged the outcome. And this could be for relationships, your career, your business that you wanted to start, friendship or even like family. You know, recently I just thought about my life and just try to reflect on how I'm thinking today versus even just a year ago. Because I remember, um, let's say five years ago, I always told to myself before I'm becoming 30, I want to have a child. Before I'm becoming 30, I want to have a house. I want to have a partner, a life partner. And in that way, You can call it manifestation or whatever that is, but I tried so hard to cling on those things. For me, it felt like that I tried to manifest all of those things that at that time was still in the future for me. Now, fast forward, I realized that things have turned out or they were not supposed to be. And when I came to that realization a year ago, I cannot have all of those goals accomplished. I was very frustrated. I was so frustrated and I was very unsatisfied with my life. I was such a controlling person to the degree that every day I woke up, I had a headache. I was trying to control my career because I worked in sales and every day it was a constant competitiveness. And I saw that I controlled so much that I worked so hard and yet I was not capable of influencing the outcome. The same goes with my relationship. And at that point, I thought, okay, maybe controlling too much can worsen even the situations. When I realized that, it was a bit too late. I realized where I was standing. I went through this breakup of after several years and I didn't have the job anymore. And on top of that, I have a family member who became very ill. So there was a lot of heavy weight on myself that has affected also other things. I wanted you to know is that when you face certain situation, such as a heartbreak or you, you lost a career, you lost a loved one, but God forbid that these things happens to you, then you need to understand that God has a plan behind everything. So if you are seeing yourself right now in the most hurtful way where your heart has been broken or where you don't find the motivation anymore to get out of every morning, you need to understand that everything from day one when you were born has been written for you. Your past, your journey, God already made all the plans for you because those things have been set in stone. And the truth about life is that the harder you have it, the bigger the reward at the end, believe me. You got to trust the process. If your heart has been broken recently because you have faced your fear or whatever is inside you, and, and also this is the first step of letting go, facing the emotions you're having, then you know that this is a sign of something much, much greater will be waiting for you. So big that you can't even imagine. Picture this, from the day one you were born, you were supposed to walk a certain journey. You were supposed to chase the sun. But instead of you chasing the sun, you were so distracted by all the small light bulbs that is along the way. It goes to the left, sometimes goes to the right. But your main journey is just go straight ahead. But you got so distracted. You were so distracted that you felt the need to chase the light bulb. But the light bulb was never the answer for you. For you, there's something even bigger waiting for. Much bigger than you can even imagine. And that's why you need to recognize whenever you cannot let go, being in control of all of the things in your life is not God's way. Because when you are in control 
all you do is doubting, doubting, doubting. There is no trust. There is no surrendering. You need to surrender to life sometimes because that's the beauty of life. You can't always be afraid of what if I'm going to be rejected? What if I, no one will understand me? What if, what if? This is not how you live. So I know there is a lot of fear involved when you want to let go, but you also need to understand that your fear is growing every day like a virus in your body when you are not willing to let go and surrender to life and surrender to what is being meant for you. Listen to this. Have you ever been in a situation where you don't know if you should move away from a relationship or not? But then you were thinking about it and you evaluating it for months and at some point it became become years and then at the end you still go separate ways so your body is your intuition and your intuition is trying to tell you something what god wants to communicate to you so there is this notion in your head you recognize it and you're like Ah, okay, maybe, and sometimes people are like, oh, maybe it's just a thought, I will push it away. And they don't even look at it because looking at those things requires a lot of courage. It requires so much strength and so much time and so much energy. And then you think about, oh, where am I finding this? But guess what? If you are not doing it right now, if you are not facing your fear, if you are not facing what is going to be determining your life, you're going to end up not having what you want you're gonna end up living a life that is not even being meant for you so what i'm trying to tell you is that whenever you feel you cannot let go then look into your body try to see okay what was the last time that triggers you so much what was the last time that triggers you to the point that you cannot let go is it something from the past and and really sit with it because if you don't sit with it and you don't do your shadow work then it will always be there it will always come to you and you will eventually have to deal with it sooner or later but you need to be ready for this you need to be ready and dedicate yourself and when you acknowledge your emotions sometimes you feel a lot of anger sadness you want to rage or you you feel like you, you can't hold this but this is the thing us being as human on this earth is to feel we are made in a way that we need to feel those emotions but they are there for a reason it's not that they are there so you can push them away because if you push them away you know what's gonna happen it's gonna be manifesting somewhere in your body and what you're gonna deal with it later when you're gonna get older sooner or later you're gonna have chronic illness and this is not what you want believe me I've been there in the past. I have dealt with migraines every day. I woke up, I was tired. I woke up, I was tired the entire day. I can't even tell you why. I lacked so much of motivation to start my day, to live through my day, to even think about like the here and now. I, I didn't even have the capacity to think about the future. And this was all because I couldn't let go. I couldn't let go of the thought of this is not what it was meant for me. This career was not meant for me the way that I wanted to have my life being a mother before I'm 30, it, it, it was just not meant for me. I wasn't ready yet. And you need to understand that you can only get something in your life if you are ready for that. You attract not what you want, you attract what you are. And this is how it works with manifestation. This is how it works with your thoughts. It all starts with your thoughts. Are they coming from a source of positivity? Is it coming from a source of misery that you feel you are victimizing yourself? Or is it something that you really feel like, okay, whatever comes, it will come. I'm gonna surrender to it because I know that God has made a plan for me. Only by trusting you can attract what is being meant for you, not what you want, what is being meant for you. Because you became this version of yourself that God knows, okay, you are ready to go in this stage and continue your life as it is supposed to be. It's just all a matter of time. You have to prepare yourself for it. Every one of us has to do their homework. If you don't do your homework, you're not going to graduate. This is true. You're just not going to graduate because you need to do your homework to be qualified in life, to get what you want. Life is about acquiring one qualification after another. You just level up every day, every year. So to level up, you need to trust, to trust, you need to let go.
I want you to understand the significance behind this because if you cannot let go, you can manifest as much as you want. It won't be there for you. It's only going to be there for you if it is the right time. You understand this only if it's the right time and the right time determines if you are the right person. So you just need to focus on what you can do. Life will happen to you. It will always happen to you. It can be even worse than right now. You're watching this video, you're doing well. You have internet, you probably have a phone or a laptop. Focus on what you can do and be really grateful for what you're having. Look what your resources are. What am I working with right now? What people can I, am I having in my life who can encourage me in my journey? P people who can give me constructive feedback to become a better human being. Having good friends. Take the distance from those who are not being meant in your life. Take the distance from negative energy because, because you want to become better. Becoming better also means to be aware of what you're consuming. What kind of music are you listening to? What kind of literature are you reading? Who are the people you're hanging out with? What kind of news are you watching? Be aware of those things because a lot can happen in your subconscious mind and that goes to your unconscious mind. So just be every day the best version of yourself. Write every day down three things you are grateful for. And it doesn't matter what it is. There must be something you are grateful for. If you walk towards God, light, positivity and gratitude, he will run towards you. Everything in life happens for a reason. You are here to experience the journey as a human being. The journey is about trusting, surrendering, but also thinking with your clear mind. When is it time to be rational? When is it time to trust your intuition and just let go and just enjoy and embrace the journey? Embrace it because you don't have so much time here. It's just so limited. Understand? It's so limited. It's You need to embrace every day. And the best way to live life is just to chase the excitement that you have. It doesn't matter what it is about, but chase your highest excitement. I'm sure, I'm sure you're going to get where you want to go. I'm sure the world will be open to you. I promise it. But just trust the process. Don't rush. Don't control too much. I wish you endless peace in your heart. And I wish for you that you will always achieve whatever you want. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.